Hello, people of the world. I'm back. It's still July 18th. Time moves really slow when you want it to fly. People who say time flies when you're having fun, sometimes you can't even find enough fun to have to make the time fly, no matter what you do. Even if you do the things you love, like ride your bike. Um, even if you hang out with your coworkers and laugh, although that does kind of make the time fly the most. And then, um, even if you, what else do I love? <laughs> Rollerblade with coworkers. Well, okay, that did make the time fly. All right, so time does fly if you're having fun. But time will fly in pockets if you're having fun. But months don't fly by. Every day is long when you look in a mirror and you're like, oh my God, then everything slows down <laughs> because you're like, no, what happened? Oh yeah, a doctor got a hold of me. That's what happened. And you shake yourself out and you go, okay, I got to figure out a way to deal with this. How am I going to deal with this? You don't know. You don't know. There's no way to know. How do you deal with it? Your face gets rearranged. I'll tell you what, nine months, one week, and three days into it, I can tell you there's not a whole lot of good ways to deal with it. Nothing that I've come up with. Okay, I'll tell you. Here's what I have learned. I've learned a little bit. Do not take selfies. I don't follow this rule, but it does make a day go by a lot better if I don't. And I know you're thinking you take selfies every day. Hey, trust me, if you got your face totally hosed up, you'd take pictures of it too. Because every day you're just like, is it still there? Yep. And, um, okay. So, but, so coping mechanisms. No selfies, no mirrors, if at all possible, no reflective surfaces. Oh my God, do not look in car mirrors. Like when you walk up to a car, you get out of your car and you park next to a car, do not even accidentally look at the reflective surface of a car window. Big mistake. Big day killer. <laughs> Although, I finally, you know, you start to get numb after a while. A little bit. Not much, but a little bit. Like to where... A single image that I see won't wreck my whole day. It'll just wreck until I forget about it. And then, um, which you never really forget about, so I don't know how to explain it. It just goes into the numb feeling. You eventually go back to the numb feeling of, oh my god, this can't be happening. This has got to end. Um, oh, what else? Coping mechanisms. Keeping a wall calendar and crossing off the days to keep track of your progress. I'll show you July. This is July. I'm pretty proud of it. Seems like just yesterday I was at the beginning of July. So I'm doing pretty good. And I'm happy. And um, I'm just going to keep crossing off days until one day I wake up and I'm back to normal. I guess that's how it's going to happen. Um, oh, what else do I have? Tips for the facially impaired. Um, God, I have to have learned more than this. Bike, rollerblade. Hmm, unfortunately, I can tell you, praying to God doesn't help. Um, Positive visualization doesn't help. Guided meditation doesn't help. Acupuncture hurts. Um, ultrasound doesn't help. Other than to have a radiologist look at you and tell you that yet again, there's been no change. And that really doesn't help to hear that. And... Um, try not to get hugely fat. Um, 
my diet's gone to hell since this happened because I figure, oh well, I'm half dead anyway. Might as well kill myself the rest of the way off. But um, So yeah, I've gained like 10 pounds or more since this happened, but I guess I had room to gain, some people would say. Still, I need to kind of shut it down. <laughs> and... Oh, what else? What else do we know? Just keep taking it day by day. And try to keep faith that it's gonna end. That's the worst. Because when you lose faith and you think it's never gonna end, that is the worst. Don't look at articles about Madonna or Madonna's face. <laughs> um don't research it. It's depressing. You find out they don't know anything. And um, try to stay away from the thoughts of hate. I've gotten a lot better at that at the beginning. I was consumed by wanting to just, I don't know, I can't even describe it, just full of hate for the person who did this to me, but, um, and not telling me what the hell was going on. <sighs> But it's easier not to hate. And I have less nightmares about her now. That's good. And um, um, just keep trying to stay positive and be like, okay, nothing can touch me anymore. <laughs> I'm not going to let anything touch me anymore. Someone did this, but no one's going to do any more, so that's good. And make videos, make a YouTube channel. It makes it feel like progress, even if there is none. And um, I'm going to try to stay happy and like look at clouds that go by and see that they're pretty and listen to birds. Try to pay attention to sounds and sights and things, smells, especially good smells. Like if you're biking and you smell like trees and nature, like try to be consumed by that and forget about this and just focus on that. I like crickets, but I'm not getting enough of them this year. I don't know that we're getting any of them. I mean, what happened to crickets? I used to be able to go to sleep and listen to crickets, and I don't think they have them anymore. <laughs> or maybe it's because I listen to my YouTube books. That's another thing, listen to YouTube books to fall asleep, because otherwise, like, your mind, it'll just churn on it, if it's anything like my mind. And then, um, and then you can't fall asleep, and it's hell. But then, if you let someone read to you on YouTube, that's good. And don't forget about your calendar. Look at how far we are through July. Awesome. It's going to end. Not just July, this whole thing. Really good. <laughs>